body. We're here to talk LS1, LS6, same thing with LS2, um, cylinder head CNC. And, you know, we have this project uh, for a customer, 2001 Z06 Corvette. We're doing a bunch of stuff to uh, the engine, not taking the engine out, just like, you know, cams, got long tube headers, you know, uh, K Tech oil pump. C5R chain, it's, you know, some various different things, and it's like, well, we didn't really want to put the old cylinder heads just back on, because, you know, the car's got 89,000 miles on it, heads would be fine, but it's like, you already got them off, and it's all that work, so at least rebuild them, clean them up, whatever you want to do, and so we're like, okay, what about if we go ahead and get them rebuilt and have some CNC work done to them? You know, there's a number of people out there that do the CNC work for the LS engines and you know so I started calling around trying to get some prices and some of the prices you can find online and it's a little tricky to get it apples to apples like okay some are CNC but then you have to pay extra for if you want valves or if you want you know it's surfaced you know or whatever you want to do so it's some are a package and some are like a la carte and you have to add the items and then you have to you know see if anybody will contact you back. And that's the other problem. I mean, I see it in every industry, not just automotive, but in home construction or whatever. I mean, the key to business is to make business easy. And I say that all the time. But half the time, just places just won't call you back. I mean, I called a number of places on CNC and saying, okay, what's the lead time? Anything I could get, emails, phone calls, whatever. And I called, uh, let's see, I started out with, um, uh, Ligenfelter and you know of course they're a bigger company they got right back to me and I think they were like four weeks uh, lead time and you know before I really get into that you know they all show their flow numbers and you know flow numbers are it's like almost like a personal opinion you know because it's like different machines and they flow this and you know so I think overall pretty much they're all gonna be pretty good you know what I mean Ligenfelter I know does good CNC work K-Tech does good CNC work um, Total Engine Airflow does great CNC work there's a lot they all do you know do good CNC work some are gonna be a little better than others but what can you really trust in the numbers but anyway so uh, Ligenfelter you know got right back to me and they were running like four weeks or whatever and I called I really wanted a total engine um, airflow and smaller company and I called them and I emailed them never got a response and I really wanted to use them because their prices seem very uh, competitive I like their package they offered and I just could not get anything back from them. I tried several times never anything back I even looked up on a forum board to see if they're even in business anymore and I saw someone had the same comment I did like are they in business anymore and that was from a year ago so obviously they have an ongoing problem with returning phone calls so I think I made one more try with them over a course of like two weeks and they finally got back to me and said something like six to eight weeks turn time and I was like you know they couldn't even return my phone calls or my emails for two weeks I was like I don't even want to waste my time because I feel like it's just not going to work out so but to all the other businesses out there answer your phones you know or reply back you know those are your customers so anyway so I contacted a uh, uh, FED um, which does good CNC work and never got a reply back at all from them uh, K-Tech got back a reply back to another bigger company um, they were about the same they were about four weeks um, but K-Tech was a little weird because it was like it was super a la carte well if you want assembly it's this and if you want this it's that and it's all you add it all up and it ends up being pretty pricey and I just kind of I just didn't really like all the a la carte stuff and it and I like I had my own springs and stuff I wanted to give them I had cam motion springs and titanium retainers so I wanted to send those with the other cylinder heads to get done so I uh, I checked around a couple other places and then uh, PRC precision race components which is by you know Texas speed which is obviously Texas speed like Brian Tooley and those guys do great work and you know they answer their phone their sales team is knowledgeable so I was like you know what and they had a very simple to follow online I'm sending in my springs and where I want the surface to be decked to in case you want more compression you know take off more and you know look out on the phone or you can do it online walk you right through it very economical price I thought it was uh, a good way to go and they said uh, four weeks and I'm like alright fine I ship my stuff the next day 
And I think I actually got it back in three weeks, so it was great. So here's the box. Here's one of them. It comes in two boxes. Uh, this is one cylinder head. So we're gonna open this up and see how it looks. Very exciting when you get fancy new parts. Well, I guess redone parts back. So. Okay, we got a pack and receipt here. Good to have. Okay, nice. Alright. It's kind of like a new cylinder head box. You know, when you buy like a new cylinder. Let's take a look here. A lot of paper. Good packaging. And that is key. You're sending your cylinder heads to somebody. People sometimes put cylinder heads together in a box and then they're ruined because they bang around and they get all nicked up and everything and nothing's going to salvage them. So make sure to box them in their own boxes and then you can put both those boxes in one big box if you want. But really the key thing is to keep them super protected. Let's see here. Got a precision race components decal. We all like decal. Looks very clean. Very sharp edges, I can tell with just my hand on it. Alright. Looks good. I'll bring the camera in here in just a second to show a little more detail, but I see they obviously they super clean the whole thing. Straighten, <coughs> smooth out all the surfaces, just milled off enough just to make it completely flat and get off that old graphite gasket material that was on there. That's all I wanted to do. It looks like a really nice finish on it. Stainless valves. This is the CNC 2.5 um, package. So it's CNC'd, valve job, little bigger valves that are stainless in here that are new. And then my, like I said, my valve springs, you can get their valve springs you want, but I already had mine. These are the Cam Ocean 660 with the titanium retainers in there. And I supplied the uh, seals uh, and the clips and all that kind of stuff, and they assemble that. And it's nice because they assemble the spring, set the spring height and everything. Um, I just thought it was, it was definitely worth it. And then they engraved the PRC on the heads. So it looks really, really nice. Sometimes I always recommend still blowing it off really good, cleaning up the head and stuff like that too, because you just don't know, especially with shipping it and everything, there could be a little something still stuck in there so we'll clean it up too before we uh, actually put it on the motor but I think it looks really really good I'll bring the camera over alright here we are you can always see how the CNC they always it always creates that line you know because it goes in there's 5 X CNC and the tooling just kind of goes around in there And sometimes they'll leave a little bit of the original casting will show up sometimes. And that's just how the model is for the CNC programming. If it doesn't touch it, everything, it just doesn't touch everything. Looks very nice. Let's check the intake side. See in there, but yeah, you can see right there a little bit. So there's casting, and it'll probably show up in the same spot on every port. That looks very good. And looks don't really mean much because it's like it's all about the numbers and how it flows. Very nice. So we'll clean that up and get that put on the car. Here's one of the cylinder heads already put on with the ARP bolts. A lot of time to torque all those down correctly. So there you have it. CNC heads. Um, I seem to be pretty happy. We'll see how everything is when I get them all installed. 
but I think everything looks really good on these. So, cylinder heads have been installed, the PRC cylinder heads, and after going through the whole process, I would say I'd probably give it a 7.58 out of 10. And the main reason was because came across a number of holes that needed to be tapped out uh, that just wouldn't thread up because they resurfaced the edges and stuff like that. And as you will see in the video. Now, since we've <coughs> had one of the heads installed, I will say one small complaint, which really they should clean up is, is you'll notice since the seeing seeing goes through the port, you can see if you look real closely down there where the rocker ball goes, see there's a little burr from where the seeing seeing you know, cut across where the threads are and you got those kind of like hanging pieces of metal right there. So I'll need to tap those out and clean that up. And I also had to tap these front holes where they resurface this front. The threads didn't want to get started here. So all these had to be re-tapped also and in the back. Uh, but that's kind of a big deal. I mean, I'm kind of surprised they left that like that and didn't just come in and clean that up real quick. Of course, now I got to be a little extra careful because it's on the engine. So I'm going to put a little grease on a tap so it picks up the pieces and then uh, I'll have a towel past it so I can pull out and then I'll also vacuum it out and everything like that. But that definitely will be one of my complaints here. Um, and the, um, you know, the rocker arm mounting bolts on the intakes, how they had those burrs on the end and that really need to be cleaned up. And that wastes about an hour of my time. So it's either tell people, hey, you need to go over all these threads, clean them up, whatever they should do. Really, they should do it. They're the machine shop. But I've heard from other people in the world that just say, never trust machine shop to clean up the pieces. You got to clean them yourself. So, but that's kind of deburring. That's a little more than just cleaning. So anyway, uh, that's my biggest complaint. Um, but I'll send them a note on that. You know, we all can improve in this world. So uh, that's about it. But I'd say 7.5, 8, eh, C plus. Let's go with that. All righty. Have a good one.